Hello, and welcome to a Wednesday edition of Robert vs. the New York Times Crossword. Today we're going to the Wednesday, February 1st, 2023 Crosswords. Go for that 1,069 day streak. So here is your spoiler alert for the Wednesday mini. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. The mini is always free to play. Alright, let's do it. Uh, tank. Expo. Uh, giant. Uh, exile. Oops. Spade. Uh, try, try again. Meaty, toned, elder, and oh, alder, and vegan. Wow. I thought this was a tank there. Someone you'd be unlikely to have beef with. That's cute. Exile, spade, toned. Try, try again. All right, it's pretty slow today. Anyway, now for the main event, that's the Wednesday Daily Grid, which is by Dan Caprera. Here's your spoiler alert if you'd like to play along. Pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. The Daily Grid does require a New York Times game subscription. I see shaded squares, I see circled squares, and I see that this is gonna be an extra wide puzzle today. So uh, quite a visual, visually interesting puzzle. Let's, uh, let's see what Dan Caprera has in store for us. Let's get into it. Contents of some college party shots. This is LG or JFK. Science fiction vessel. Building wing, I guess it's just L. Strong cleaner, maybe lie. Sass. The lip, and this is on to, so Jello and JFK. Uh, kleptocracy here, nice word, no. Kleptocratic, path of the commas and arc. Flying Saucer, German Veto is 9, Reclining Hero Pose, I guess it's Asana, Suavist, and Act 1, I guess. Platte River People are Oto, and this is Gotti maybe, Trash Hauler, a Scow, and it's a cow being uh, sucked up into a Flying Saucer, this is Twee, European Theater of Operations, Science Fiction Vessel again, this is T-Shirts. Sorry, T straps. Crib notes. A cheat sheet. Film special effects of CGI. Gag components are geese. Cross. Irate. She, her. Eek. Irked. Costco unit. A case of something. Chili or bell pepper scientifically. Cap something. This is baited like baited breath. Place for a drink while traveling. Bar car. Is that right? Peak, whose name means the high one. Mount Fuji. Green in a hurricane. Maybe it's rum. Update as a site layout. Read something. Without shame. Un something. 1976. Hit by heart. Denali here. Adult states instinct. Those are imago. Lose it here. Well, that escalated quickly. Ren and Stimpy. The mothership there. Ancient, PTAs, Excella, Quiet Spot to Mora Boat, and Inlet. This is Capsicum, Brutes, featured on either brother of Smith Brothers Cough Shop Drops. Maybe it's a beard. This is a tube, I believe. There's all the leaky plan. There's a blot on the lamb. Major corporate hirees, maybe MBAs. Gumbos are stews. Juniors or seniors, I guess. Pokemon with a cat-like appearance. I think it's Mew. Science fiction energy rays. Uh, tractor beams. Like this. Performer who might step on some toes. Something dancer. Ballet dancer. This is TBS. Squire. Kai Sai is a frat. Oh, the FBI there. It's bound to be eaten by livestock. It's a bale. A steed. My trusty steed. On the blank and lends a hand. So, helps maybe? Instrument with the pedal. This is uh, MSD. Mount of Sand Giant. Site of a terrible fall. The Eden. Uh, seven articles in the Constitution. Some cheerful folks. Uh, FSU. 
something craft. Spacecraft? Seconds or thirds? Maybe just more. Big Newton's manufacturer, I guess, is Nabisco. That all looks good. Half of D. Uh, so D is 500, so CCL. Unabashedly. Magic man. Right? Hi hat and helps. Unbeatable ideal. Alright. There we go. We've got an extra wide Wednesday grid in the books. All right, we have 13 across plus the two black squares. 13 numbers, I should say. So we've got a uh, different alien spacecraft, essentially, sucking things up via tractor beams. So I see the I see the visual. I see the visual. I can see it. Flying saucer, sucking up a cow. That seems like pretty like pretty much a trope for uh for UFOs. You can see them sucking up a man, tractor beaming up a man. To be honest, car doesn't really ring. I can't think of a you know like a pop culture UFO that where the mothership takes up a car, but. So what I'm trying to say is like this universe of things that can be sucked up into a, an alien craft seems to be pretty wide here. Maybe we should look it up. Uh, if I just look up UFO tractor beam trope or something. Alien steel cattle, you see. This is like uh, definitely, definitely a thing. I want to see like some pictures. Yeah, so if you look at this clip art, you see humans, uh, or this like YouTube <laughs> cover picture. You see humans, you see cows. That rings very true to me. Car though. UFO, just UFO tractor beam. Yeah. The cow is quite common. Is it a car? That's a car. Okay. This is like vending machines? <laughs> Alright, anyway. Um I, I I think this puzzle has a nice visual element to it, I'll say. Um It's kinda interesting that there's so much long stuff between ballet dancer and kleptocratic. It's got an interesting topology to this grid. Yeah, and given that it's extra wide, I think the time is about about right for a, for an extra wide Wednesday. Let's take a look through this thing. Jello shots. I do remember those from college, and even after college. Kleptocratic is nice. In Diesel on Street Racers. I guess that's a, uh, a Fast and the Furious reference, and a bit of a misdirect for Diesel Fuel. Yeah, Hurricane. I guess you drink these in New Orleans, right? Hurricane cocktail. Rum, lemon juice, and passion fruit syrup, or fascianola. Honestly, sounds delicious. It's one of the many is one of many popular drinks served in New Orleans. Yeah, I remember seeing these. I remember seeing plastic ones. Yeah. Anyway, that actually didn't. That wasn't a misdirect. Imago. That was in the puzzle sometime in the last few months. Never ridden an Excella, even though I take Amtrak quite often. Yeah. Nice clean ballet dancer. The long stuff, the long ones here that look like they might be themers, Kleptocratic and Ballet Dancer, I think are both creditable. R though. These uh these random rivers. Act one also. Cheat sheets is nice. Yeah, oh I'll, that's right. Also there's this like this sound of the the thing being sucked up. I think that's kind of a cute little addition. ETO is pretty bad. European Theater of Operations. I think I've seen it once on this channel before, and I didn't know it. 
now that I, I saw it once, I know it, but that's not like a super common acronym. I guess there's also the Pacific Theater of Operations, but if you have PTO, I guess you'd probably uh, clue it as personal time off. Yeah, also half of D, Roman numerals, CCL. I mean, what? there's just so many combinations of Roman numerals. It's not particularly elegant. I don't think it's the cleanest puzzle, but I do think it's actually, uh, I think it's pretty cute. Also, we got Mew in the puzzle clued as a Pokemon. At one point I was talking to some, some people about which Pokemon can legitimately appear in the New York Times crossword because of they have enough fame. Like certainly Pikachu passes the mark. Probably Charizard. The thing is Mew has a non-Pokemon clue too. Um, but I guess like the fact that you say it has a cat-like appearance means even if you don't know Pokemon, it's kind of guessable. Anyway, I like Mew. I like Pokemon, so uh, I kind of like it. It'll be, call it a normal time for a Wednesday. Honestly, all the puzzles this week have been a bit, a bit hard for their day, but I think that's a good thing. And also this one is extra large, so hard to really assess. Anyway, uh, let me shut everything down, come back with a plus word. Okay, so here's your spoiler alert for the plus word. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. The plus word is free to play. It's like British mini crossword meets Wordle. Quite enjoyable. You can learn some, some Britishisms from time to time. It's a fun time. All right, let's do it. Behave badly. This is going to be Anode. I think this is probably Soul, right? Strike with James Abash. Group of monkeys of the troop, maybe. Undo there. So, over promotes Hypes. This is Peels. Undo. Let's act up at the top there. Bunny. Coney. Okay, that's British. A bash. So we've got uh what do we have? Human. We got human there. Hard time on the uh the plus word there. The very end, but the rest of it seems pretty fair. South Korean city. The motherland, shout out to the motherland. We got Coney. I mean a rabbit. Uh, the, thing I, the thing I remember is in Lord of the Rings when Gollum gets two rabbits and Sam says there's only one proper way to cook a brace of conies. It's uh, two versus in one because a brace means two of. I guess if you're a soccer fan, a football fan, if you score two, it's a brace and a cony is a rabbit. But I don't think that's really... I don't think that's really so so commonly used in in American English. Heraldry, I see. So you could have like a coney rampant on a field of azure or something. <laughs> um, yeah, a brace of conies. Anyway, uh, let's take a look at the leaderboard. I suspect I'm pretty far down the list today. Yeah, we got Herman Chow and Stickers, both tied to 20 seconds. Shout out to both of you. As well as Aerotangos, PB Geckner, first time in a long time. And Tarotuna, Oriomana, Happy almost birthday, Oriana and KF Esventa. And on the old secret leaderboard, we've got D Lore, J Wu, and the Duke Priest. Shout out to all of you. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I'll see you tomorrow for the best day of the week for some Thursday puzzles. See you then.